This is the same Gatorade from the last video. Welcome, people. Thank you for stopping by once more to this channel. My name is Nicardo Lanaman. If you are new here, you can go ahead and subscribe. You can also click the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a video. I post every Monday and Friday. Maybe doing some lives on the weekends. I'm not even sure as yet. If you are returning, thank you for being here. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for bringing up my numbers. I rose 10%. However, a number of you are not yet subscribed, so you could go ahead and do that, you know? Today, I'm talking specifically to you. Yes, you. You're putting off your driver's license. You've been putting it off for years. No, you need to go ahead and get that. Stop me if I'm wrong. You've heard from a close family member or friend that there's no way in the seven hells that you can pass your driver's license exam. And the only way to pass and get your license is if you buy it. This is nonsense. If you're a person who can't drive a shit, then it's not for you. And I recommend that you do learn how to drive. Do not buy your license. Actually, learn how to drive. Learn the rules of the road before you uh, step in a vehicle without supervision. Because operating a vehicle is a very serious thing. And you need to know how to do it efficiently. Because the road fatalities are among the worst and most gruesome. So I worked at a I worked at a driving school for some time. It's the uh, driving institute. It's located in Montego Bay. It's by Pier One, right behind Nutsford, right there. So very cool place. If you need to learn how to drive, you should go ahead and check it out. I worked there for a while, and um, I also went there. My uncle taught me how to drive before, but you know, I had a little accident with a friend's car, where I kind of bus to I tied him on a sidewalk after me I swerve run on corner good times you know I got an eye opener that you know probably need a little bit more practice so I went to the driving school and then I um did all the lessons paid for all the lessons and I, I went to the depot the first time I did my driver's license test I failed it because I uh, put on the indicator after I stopped whereas I should have put on the indicator before I stopped the second time around I um, did the exam and I passed it and then afterwards I uh, I got I got a job at the driving school I started to work there then I really got into seeing the fallacy that people are exposed to that you know you need to buy a license so it's like this right you're being told that the examiner is going to fail you for any little thing but the thing is, when your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your uncle, your father, brother, whoever teacher, a family member teacher, how to drive a car, and when them tell you, say, you know, lucky steering, so, lucky steering, left now, reverse, do this, do that, and you know what to do, but on the day of the exam, you go to the exam and the examiner is going to tell you that using the t-junction up ahead turn the vehicle in the opposite direction or using the intersection up ahead turn the vehicle in the opposite direction you freeze and you know what to do because you don't know the terminology or the correct terminology that is going to be used in the exam setting and i learned this and many people learned this after going to the driving school i can only speak for the one driving school that i worked at and i and i went to so yeah people don't know the correct terminology when they go to the, the examination depot so and when you make a simple blunder such as that they're they're gonna have to fail you because as i said before driving is very is very serious because you're operating how many tons of steel of machinery and it's very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing so once you know the terminology and once you know what to do then it's like butter for you you know and that's the experience that you get at the driving institute because they walk you through the steps exactly where the exam is going to be held so you'll know exactly all the scenarios the examiners can give you on the day of the exam so there'll be no need to buy or spend the unnecessary money that you have to spend that you'd have to spend to get the license at this at that point in time and i personally recommend if you have time on your hands and you know how to drive you could go ahead and 
go to your local tax office, sign up for the year driving uh, driver's exam. And you go ahead and do the exam and actually get a feel for what it is like, you know, because the worst can happen is that you fail and you just have to go ahead and pay your examination fee again. And then you go ahead and do the exam again. The good thing about failing the exam is that when you fail the exam or the exam has multiple parts so if you pass one part and you fail another part you pass that part you're not worried about the part where you pass already when you hear people go say them got examiner five six seven eight time i believe that them actually do something that prevented them from getting the license there's something that they did not do and often more often than not the examiner will tell you what you did wrong or they'll tell your instructor to tell you what you did wrong in the particular situation that you would have failed that exam i recommend that you go to your local driving school in whatever parish you're in if you're in montego bay i strongly recommend the driving institute it is uh by pier one behind nutsford right there they have very competitive rates and very friendly and patient instructors you know you're spending your money so you get everything for your money's worth here's a story so there was this girl right and she went ahead and did the exam and she failed on reversing she hit she touched a cone when she was reversing this is the first time she did it so naturally she's going to have to come back and do it again rightfully so any little thing you fail is a slip and slide type of deal when she was coming back now this is the advice i gave her you know you just just go to the exam once you go to the exam just the way I feel. She did not want the embarrassment or to wait to go ahead and go back to the examination depot again. So she told her uncle that she don't want to go back again. She told some other people and those persons said, you know what? I was going to make a call. So she went ahead and uh, she did the exam. She did it flawlessly this time, the second time around. And she passed. But because she told people to make a few calls, she ended up on that day with an additional expense, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So all in all, in conclusion, you don't have to buy a license. If you do have the money and the time, I recommend that everybody, you know, that is learning how to drive or needs to brush up on their driving skills, you could go ahead and enroll in the Driving Institute by Pier 1 in Montego Bay if you're from that area. If you're not, you can go ahead to your local driving school. Spend the time to learn how to drive. It's fulfilling when you know how to do it. And you can only benefit from having instructors that are patient. Because who knows enough about a boyfriend or father no patient. If you stay this long, you could put down below what is the most outrageous license story you've heard? You know, I'd love to hear it. Thank you for tuning in once more. My name is Nicardo Laman. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. Click the notification bell to be notified whenever I post. Don't talk to you now. Go get your license now. <laughs>